and China's longest underwater highway tunnel is now finally open to the public, following four years of work that began in January 2018. In Jiangsu province, some 50 kilometers east of Shanghai, is Lake Taihu, the country's third largest freshwater lake. The Taihu Tunnel now runs below it. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any more amazing content. Let's get started. The enormous 10.79 kilometers long, 17.45 meters wide, six-lane tunnel was constructed for a staggering 9.9 billion yuan, about 1.56 billion dollars. Despite the fact that China has over 100 undersea tunnels, this one will be the longest and the widest in the nation. The Taihu Tunnel is a portion of the Changzhou Wuxi Highway, a 43.9 kilometer route that links the Suzhou, Wuxi, and Changzhou Expressways. The tunnel offers an alternative route for commuters traveling between Shanghai and the capital of Jiangsu, thereby alleviating traffic in the area surrounding Lake Taihu. More than 2 million cubic meters of concrete were used in the construction of the two-way tunnel. To ensure there was no sewage or dust discharge, the building crew is thought to have used automatic steel processing equipment and intelligent systems. Underwater tunnels are anticipated to be the ideal solution to relieve traffic congestion due to the expanding population of urbanization. The Channel Tunnel is regarded as the longest underwater tunnel in the world. The 37.9 km underwater segment of the Channel Tunnel, which links France and the United Kingdom, is the longest. Historically, compared to the rest of the mainland, China's eastern provinces have had less economic and infrastructure growth. On January 9, 2018, construction on the tunnel, which cost roughly $1.56 billion, began. As stated by the group responsible for the tunnel's construction, intelligent technology and automatic steel processing equipment were employed, according to Global Times. The two-way tunnel, which has six lanes and is 17.45 meters wide, was built using approximately 2 million cubic meters of concrete, according to China's official news agency, Xinhua. To lessen driver wariness, tunnel ceiling has been lit with vibrant LED lights. The 43.9 km Changzhou Wuxi Highway, which went into operation on December 30, 2021, includes the tunnel. It serves as a different highway for travelers that need to get from Shanghai to Nanjing, the capital of Jiangsu, ensuring connectivity and prosperity. According to China Daily, the Taihu Tunnel will link a number of cities and villages in the area surrounding Lake Taihu. The tunnel will reduce travel time by half between the Wuxi lakefront neighborhoods of Mashan and Nanquan and improve accessibility between the city's commercial district of Yixing. The Jiangsu province's Wuxi city might be regarded as a very significant region because historically it has been a bustling economic hub and the export center for goods including rice, silk and textiles. It has also developed over the past few years into a major trading hub for solar technology components, software and electrical motors. According to Chen Digang, director of the publicity division at CCCC Third Harbor Engineering Co., it rarely takes more than one hour to travel between a prefecture-level city and a county within purview in the Yangtze River Delta region. He claims that the project will link cities like Shanghai, Nanjing, Suzhou and Wuxi, improving the economy of the area. An engineering marvel, the tunnel is divided into two bores, each of which is 17.45 meters long and has a length of 43.2 meters. The biggest engineering challenge, according to Li Baozi, a project manager from CCCC Third Harbor Engineering, has been seepage proofing the tunnel, which extends up to 20 meters below the lake bed, according to a previous story by China Daily. The contractor created an advanced real-time monitoring system for pouring concrete and came up with creative techniques for processing concrete of the highest caliber. These practices are being promoted by the Jiangsu Transportation Engineering Construction Bureau as a seepage-proofing standard for such tunnels throughout the province. The contractor has gone to great lengths to reduce noise and dust pollution in order to safeguard Taihu Lake's ecology. To do this, the contractor uses an entirely enclosed concrete mixing plant, environmentally friendly trucks and hydraulic pile hammers that are half as loud as diesel pile hammers. China lags behind Norway. The longest highway tunnel currently under construction in the world connects the cities of Stavanger and Strand with the twin road Ryfast Tunnel in Norway. The 14.4 km tunnel is 292 meters below sea level and its deepest point and has a 7% gradient at its steepest point which applies for 4 km up to Solbach. The tunnel is the longest and deepest undersea road tunnel on the entire planet. However, the Channel Tunnel, a rail link between England and France, comes out on top in terms of depth. According to CNN, the submerged portion is 37.9 km long, making it the longest underwater tunnel in the world. 
Even though China is behind these undersea tunnels, it has nonetheless made progress that is anticipated to have major long-term economic benefits for it. Officials take the tunnel has been finished, according to Yang Guodong, the project team's leader, who spoke with the Xinhua News Agency. Using autonomous steel processing machinery and sophisticated procedures, he continued, the project could guarantee zero discharge of sewage and dust into the lake. The provincial government has repeatedly campaigned to stop the dumping of sewage, garbage, industrial waste and animal waste into Lake Taihu because it has been severely polluted over the past 40 years, including blooms of poisonous algae. Lake Taihu provides water to about 30 million people and has been the target of these campaigns. Pouring concrete and work to construct amenities on an island in the lake will take up the rest of the year. The roadway, which would cost $2.4 billion and span 44 kilometers in Jiangsu province, will connect Shangzhou and Wuxi, a city on the lake's northern side. The longest undersea road tunnel in China, whose construction took four years to complete, opened to the public on December 30th, 2021. The Taihu Tunnel, which runs along the Jiangsu coast 50 kilometers east of Shanghai, goes beneath Lake Taihu, the third largest freshwater lake in China. To reduce driver fatigue, the tunnel ceiling has several bright LED lights installed. Aspects of the Taihu Tunnel the Taihu Tunnel connects the Changzhou, Shuzhou and Wuxi expressways and is situated on the Changzhou wuxi Highway. By giving commuters travelling between Shanghai and Nanjing an alternative route, the tunnel helps to decrease traffic in the cities near Lake Taihu. The tunnel, which is 57 feet broad and has six lanes of traffic, has been constructed. The six-way tunnel was constructed using more than 2 million cubic meters of concrete. To stop sewage and dust from escaping as construction workers processed steel, they used mechanized equipment. So how much do you think this would all amount to? The tunnel cost 9.9 .9 billion yuan, or roughly $1.56 billion, to build and is 10.79 kilometers long by 17.45 meters wide. Although there are more than 100 sea tunnels in China, this one will be the longest and the largest. How does Taihu differ from the other tunnels throughout the world? The longest highway tunnel that is still under construction in the world is the Raifast Tunnel in Norway, which runs for 14.3 kilometers between Stavanger and Strand. 9.6 kilometers of tunnel, which are part of the Tokyo Bay Aqua Line undersea roadway, runs beneath Tokyo Bay. Traffic is expected to be reduced by underwater tunnels as a result of urbanization and population growth. Given that the tunnel is up to 20 meters below the lake bottom, one of the largest engineering concerns was keeping it dry, according to China Daily. The project contractor had to create novel processing techniques and a sophisticated real-time monitoring system for the concrete pouring in order to handle the massive amounts of concrete. In order to safeguard the lake's environment, the contractor also ran a completely soundproof concrete mixing facility. The three tunnel ventilation shafts have been incorporated into the landscape. The one is in the middle of the tunnel is accessible via a small artificial island, while the shaft on the western side is visible through the statue of a conch, and the shaft on the eastern side is shaped like an ancient boat. Number 1. Construction began on January 9, 2018. Number 2. Covers an area that is 17.45 meters wide and 10.79 kilometers long. Number 3. The Taihu Tunnel is named this because it runs beneath Lake Taihu in the Jiangsu province of eastern China, 50 kilometers east of Shanghai. Number 4. The overall expense came to 9.9 .9 billion yuan or almost 1.56 billion dollars. Number 5. There are six lanes in the tunnel allowing for two-way traffic. Number 6. The tunnel ceiling is decorated with vibrant LED lights as an idea to help individuals who are traveling through its lengthy stretch feel less fatigued. The purpose behind this amazing construction. Heavy traffic congestion in the cities of Suzhou, Wuxi and Changzhou is annoying for both local residents who commute each day and foreign visitors to the nation. In order to reduce traffic congestion, it was necessary to connect the expressways of the three cities. Additionally, the tunnel will support the economic growth of the cities around the Yangtze River Delta. Convenience for travelers. Year-round tourists travel to China. Relief will result from reducing the worries associated with traveling between different cities across the nation. With the tunnel, excessive traffic and congestion will be avoided while bringing out the convenience needed for quicker and easier transit. It's definitely a gift and a benefit for China's tourism industry. You should also include the Taihu Tunnel on your bucket list because it is now ranked alongside other notable tunnels in the world including the Channel Tunnel that connects England and France, Tokyo's Bay Aqualine and Norway's Rifast Tunnel. 
The tunnel joins a long list of infrastructure projects in China that have broken world records, such as the world's longest high-speed rail line connecting Beijing and Guangzhou, and the world's longest undersea rail tunnel connecting the cities of Ningbo and Zhoushan, which is located 60 kilometers south of Shanghai. Similar to 2008, China is still making significant infrastructure investments despite the current global economic crisis. Other nations are adopting similar strategies in an effort to grow their economies and create jobs. That's it guys, the Taihu Tunnel reportedly required more than 70 million cubic feet of concrete to build. To provide the six-lane tunnel with fresh air, there were three ventilation systems spread across the surface of the lake. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, leave a like, share it with your friends and family and pin down your thoughts in the comment section below.